In today's video, I am going to be breaking down my top five youth basketball plays right now. So some of these are going to be the five out offense. So make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out offense that is down in the description below. And if you want a deadly defense, make sure to go check out my deadly defensive strategies book that is down in the description below as well. So this first play is going to start with three players on the perimeter and we've got two players down in the low post. However, instead of them being actually on the block, I want them to be essentially in the dunker spot along the baseline. The reason why I want them there is because it opens up the floor, it gives a lot of opportunities to drive, and of course, dishing that ball off. So in our first play, it's going to be very simple. We're going to have some pin down screens by player four and five. This is the reason why we have bigs out on the perimeter. We want some mismatches because for example, Player two is usually a shooting guard. Player five is usually a center. For junior high school basketball, this center is probably going to be in the range of around six foot four, depending on the level that you're coaching. And the shooting guard is probably going to be in the range of about five foot eight. This is a massive difference in height. And if you can get a switch, we're now on this pin down, player two pops up and player five switches off well now you have a mis massive mismatch down in the low post and you have a massive mismatch out on the perimeter because player two should be essentially faster than player five and player five blue should be a lot bigger than player two which means that player two has the advantage out on the perimeter and player five has the advantage down in the low post especially if we are setting the screens away down near the baseline this gives a massive amount of room for player five to operate in so if he was to post that man up and get that pass he'd get it here this guy would be sealed on this side of him which means that it's just an easy left hand hook or even just a left hand floater in the middle of the key with the guy basically in jail behind him but going back to the play itself these guys set those pin down screens and player two and three are going to be using those screens and popping out to the three-point line this gives them the opportunity for a pass and a potential three-point shot or drive now this is a simple one-off play you can go and fill out and then finish off with the five out offense the reason why i like to always finish with the five out offense after a set play is because after a set play if it's been blowing up a lot of younger teams are going to be looking there standing around being like what do we do next coach what do we do next what play should we run but if you can get them doing simple one action set plays like this one right here, and then you can then build out to a five out offense, you're going to be very successful. So here's a very simple five out offense that you can do. If player one was to pass, let's say to player two, now player three and one can set that staggered screen away for player four. And depending on what player four's defender is doing off of this staggered screen, player four can pop out to the perimeter or he can curl after either one of these screens which may get him open in the low post but also a potential open three-point shot now if this was blowing up let's say for player four player three could roll off he could be a secondary option if not player one pops out player three either pops out or sets the away screen for player five in which case player five may be open if he's not he fills out we're still in five out Pass up top, screen away. After you screen away, roll to the basket, potentially open. If not, he either clears out or sets the away screen for player five. That away screen, if he's not open, if he's open, he scores. If not, he clears out and you can continue to run that through. Another fantastic play that I like to run or at least have ran in the past is this one where now player one passes to player four. After he passes to player four, we're going to have player five set the back screen, which is a blind pig play. And then player one attacks the basket. Player four is going to have the option to be able to pass to player one. If not, then that's the set that finishes. Player one then fills out to the corner. Three goes to the corner. All these guys move up and we are back in the five out. Very simple, very easy, and you can run a five out play. You're going to notice that most of my plays will always finish in a 5-out. The reason being is the 5-out is so simple and easy that 
it's going to be able to really change the way that your team plays because especially if you are entering high school, at least here in Canada, you're going to have a shot clock, which means that you have 24 seconds to score. If you get past half, now you're at maybe 17 seconds left. You run a set play, you're at eight seconds. You now have eight seconds to figure out how to score and what you can do is to run a very simple 5 out offense where it's pass and cut or this next 5 out play that I can show you. So this is Weave from the corner. This is play number 4 in today's video. Now, we can have player 4 set the dribble handoff with player 5. Player 4 will roll off. Now, player 5 will dribble out towards that wing. He could hit player 4 with that pass. If not, player 2 is going to then fill up player three is going to fill up and player four is going to fill out at this time this is going to be a dribble handoff with player one we're not going all the way to the corner player one needs to get to that ball as well we should be setting this somewhere in between the corner and the wing after this dribble handoff player five is going to roll to the basket and player one is going to be attacking that high post this is going to give a lot of different options. At older age groups, while this is happening, we can set an off-ball screen for player four with player three. So this could be an option for older age groups. For younger age groups, we would just be focusing on this dribble handoff. But what this allows us to do after that screen, player four, three would be rolling. This gives player one more options. We can pass the ball out, and then depending on what player 2's defender does, this could be a kick out to player 2 as well. This gives a ton of different options for us. Now my fifth play is actually quite complicated, but still very basic and easy. We will have player 4 set that screen for player 5. Player 5 is then going to set that screen for player 3. Player 4 is going to roll off and out, and now this off-ball screen is going to be for player 3. This is going to be our one and only option. This should be a layup. Your first four, maybe five times running this, it will be. He's going to then fill out, and we are in the five out. Very simple, very quick, and you can run a five out offense or a five out play. So definitely go check out my complete guide to the five out offense that is down in the description below. And also make sure to go check out my deadly defensive strategies that traps pretty much everywhere on the court. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Hit that like button and subscribe, and make sure to check out the description for those books.